accursed place. Amen. I want to look at with you two accursed places that we go. Number one's rebellion. Now you feel that little when it goes through, amen. It's like a rebellion. I'm not a rebel. Let me tell you a little story. My wife and I were shacking up when we got saved. We go to the San Antonio church, Pastor Ruby's preaching. Right? And so as he's preaching, he's preaching, and he preaches on fornication. You shouldn't fornicate. Why don't you say amen? <laughs> See, you're rebels. <laughs> oh. No. So it's, it's like my wife and I, my girlfriend at the time, listen, we were bad. Amen. I don't even know. I mean, I'm surprised my pastor still has hair. Amen. We were bad. We would go to church. She would sit on my lap. We were a revival. There weren't enough chairs. So one day, pastor's preaching on fornication, and man, he's preaching on fornication. He probably didn't remember this. He's preaching on fornication, and my wife was like, my girlfriend, ugh, gross, what the heck is that? <laughs> now, I know a lot of things, but we're not doing that. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> so you hear rebellion, and you know what you say automatically? I know I'm not doing that. The people oftentimes that are biggest fornicators say I'm not fornicating. See, rebellion is deceiving, man. It's deceptive. You know what the problem with deception is? It's deceiving. Here is the book of Malachi. You know, it's like we, I don't know why, we have this ability to elevate ourselves above and beyond the people in the Bible. It's Malachi, this, here's this discourse between God and his people. You have sinned, you have this, you have that. And you know what they say? In what way have we sinned? <laughs> Do you realize that the day of judgment, that people are going to argue with God, that I need to go into heaven. Why? In your name I did this, I did that, I did this, I did. See, the problem is that you can put yourself into a place, amen, an accursed place, a rebellious place, amen. So now you're in rebellion and you question everything. Why this? Why that? Why does Bob have green hair? Why does Susie, amen, have a dress that's on this side and a pant leg on that side? And so it's like all these things begin to go and you push back against the things, amen, listen, that have been tested and proven time and time again, amen. There's this weirdness that works in us, but oh, but I'm not a rebel. It, it affects the way you see things. comes accursed. You can do that with your pastor. Yes. 